Fudinati. As in Illuminati, but with food. Oh. That's f***ing funny. I rate right that. Welcome to Fudinati. Hello and welcome. And here we are with 2000 Trees 2023. And Food Night UK is going to be here all weekend, getting all the interviews we can, getting all the, the uh, footage from around the festival, and uh, bringing it all to you. So keep it locked. Well, welcome back to Food and Arts UK, and I am here with one of the wish list items of the weekend. This is <laughs> Liam from Cancer Bats. What's up? Well, then, absolutely destroyed it with the uh, Bat Sabbath last yeah, night. Yeah, that was fun. Enjoyed that. Yeah, it was exciting. Actually, managed to get a sneak peek from the side of the stage because I walked in the wrong door. Oh, okay, yeah. there you go. So, <laughs> that's the trick. That's the trick. Yeah. Yeah, just act innocent. Just walk through the forest and <laughs> figure out where you are. It's a very faithful Black Sabbath uh, oh, tribute. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we do our own kind of heavier spin on it. Yeah. I definitely just yell through a lot of parts. <laughs> but yeah, no, Doesn't it's really fun. Doesn't Aussie do that? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, yeah. It's all in the spirit of just like loving Sabbath. So. Absolutely, and we all love Sabbath. Yeah. Absolutely we do. That's why we're here. Absolutely, <laughs> so uh, double duty this weekend, so you on today? Yeah, yeah. Later so tonight? Playing, yeah, 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 playing later tonight. But I mean, it was easy. We played last night with the Sabbath, and now yeah. we have cancer bats. All warmed up. Oh, yeah. All warmed up. Yeah. Hang out, see, see some homies yeah, yeah absolutely absolutely is there anybody you're looking forward to seeing like i really want to see zulu oh I've yeah man seen zulu before that's sick uh, i really want to see military gun yeah uh our friends in chastity are here wow yeah. uh my homies in bullet from a valentine are playing so definitely oh, of gonna, course Bullet yeah. from a valentine yeah, you did that project hang, yeah, yeah yeah we did axe wound together axe so, wound, yeah. yes yeah so i'm gonna go hang out with those guys cool yeah. cool cool so is there uh, i I'm, i've just been uh speaking uh to another member of your band, you were saying that, uh, that the album came out last year, so yeah. you're letting that breathe for a little bit. Yeah, I feel like, you know, just having some uh, kind of like time to yeah. get all the touring in and play all the places. Yeah, man. I feel like when, obviously, like everybody started playing shows again, it was like the everybody's at every festival. Yeah. And we're like, oh, we're good. We took last summer off. We yeah. just like hung out. Well, you got to so have life like, as well. Yeah, so now we're actually like doing festivals yeah. this year. And we'll like definitely keep touring this record next year too, yeah so. man because you, yeah. you guys have, been, have got a, a good reputation for being road warriors you, yeah you know yeah, well we you like wrote a song about there. it you wrote yeah, a song yeah, about yeah, road exactly. sick yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah we like being out on the road and uh we have seven albums too yeah so i feel like we have a couple other tracks yeah that fit in the set list absolutely and i still go back to the early ones as well i'm still rocking hell destroyer whenever uh, i can yeah. you know yeah it's still a favorite <laughs> <laughs> so so um how excited are you about the, the state of metal at the moment? Everything seems to be pretty alive right yeah, now, doesn't Yeah, yeah, I feel like there's so much good, like, hardcore and metal and, like, yeah. everything is, like, I feel like there's a real return to heavy yeah. that's kind of happening, and, yeah, yeah we're with I, it. We're And there's heavy with eclecticism as well. Like, yeah. I, I find that people at certain bands have paved the way for other people to say, forget about the rule book, do you. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, exactly. And I think, like, there isn't a better scene for that than hardcore. Yes. You know, just, like, having so many different kind of, like, styles within, yeah. you know, the umbrella. But, like, super cool seeing just, like, all of these bands coming up. Absolutely. Hardcore, especially at the moment, is, like, very hot. Like, with bands like Zulu and uh, there, there's and Gel. You know, oh, there's, yeah. you know, there's Dude, a, there's yeah, a lot. Gel six, speed, like drain. Yeah, yeah. There's so there's much. So good many stuff. scowl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's so much good stuff that's happening. Yeah, it's, so. it's it's sick scene at the moment, and, and I think that's because there's a new breed of kids that you know, like 18, 19, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, taking up the mantle, and running yeah, with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and stoking all of us out. I think that's the thing too. Yeah, that's it. Uh, bands like Space, like just like cool, yeah. like I don't know, just like cool new hardcore that's like coming up. Hey Liam, it's your Canadian son, John. Uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, rest of the year is a few more dates, 
a little bit of chill time. Yeah, a little bit of chill time, still more touring. I think this will be our last bit of UK for the year, and then we have the rest of the world to, yes. you know, also. It's a big old world. <laughs> yeah, so definitely playing like 2000 Trees, like uh, as kind of like the nice like send off after nice. like playing a bunch of like awesome club shows and like hanging Brilliant. out this year. So yeah, it's been really good. I uh, look forward to seeing that send off later. Thank you so much for being on yeah, Food Night yeah. UK. Dude, we made it happen. Dude, we made it happen. We made it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, oh, yeah. Liam. Appreciate it. <laughs> Hello and welcome to 2000 Trees with Food Night UK. First band of the day, caught them earlier, Lush Melodies. Beach writer in house. Hello. Hello, we're the Hello. first band of the day. For me. Oh, that makes it easy. We're going to be fine then. For my first interview. After this, it's all downhill. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I was checking out your stuff the other day and it's got a punky edge, but it's also for a guy like me, he was around in the early 90s. Uh, there's some beautiful kind of Manchester-y kind of vibes that are coming through. Like early, early Stone Roses before they got onto the album, you know. I don't know if anybody else is getting that vibe, but I certainly was. I mean, I love, does, is it bad to say that I love Leisure by Blur, which is like... Nothing at all wrong with that. That was like supposed to rip off like that whole scene, I think. Well, that yeah, that was the one with There's No Other Way on it, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it was yeah. It's like, hey, look at that stuff's going on. I'm not, let's copy that. Yeah, yeah. That. It's like proper, what I would call proper indie rock, which... Yeah. which it seems to have been hijacked since Oasis and whatnot. But uh -huh. you know, we're at nice jangly, sunny tunes. You know, yeah. so there's a bit of that there. Cool. But okay, yeah, okay. I mean, how, how would, what are your influences? That's a better way to put it. Uh, I think we definitely like we, we definitely like the louder, fuzzier. I mean, I was obsessed with Nirvana, still am obsessed with Nirvana. Candy loves a bit of Queens of the Stone Age. Oh, absolutely. As, as like. I think we love those kind of like big, loud, chunky, but then still like a kind of playground, yeah, catchy melody on top of it. Yeah. I think we all bring different stuff. Like I grew up in Argentina, so obviously a lot of my influences are Argentinian rock or even like, you know, Latin music. Yeah. Uh, whilst you bring more... Maybe more of the kind of just generic... i like, I'd say 90s, thank you. No, but... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well I was like, yeah, I said Nirvana was my first love. And then yeah. From that. Yeah, I'm probably slightly older than you in that Def Leppard was my first oh, okay, nice. yeah. But yeah, Nirvana, it was hard. I, mean, I remember when Nirvana got big, like, I was like, how does a band that sound that noisy get so big? Yeah. Couldn't, it was only later on in life, knowing a bit more about music, I learned what, what an amazing pop rec record it was yeah, as exactly. well. I think that's, yeah, that's what I love about it. It's like, you can strip it down and it'll just be three chords and it's a pop, it's a pop thing. Absolutely. It's dressed up with all this anger and rage. <laughs> But this isn't an interview about Nirvana, this is an interview about Bleach, right? <laughs> Favourite album? Oh, but Bleach. Um, nice. <laughs> what have you got coming up this summer, uh, tours wise? Uh, we're going to, at the end of, so at the end of, so the start of September, we've got some English dates, so just like a, a little mini, you know, four day kind of thing. Sure. Uh, and then we're going to go off to Europe and play kind of all around. Brilliant. Germany and Holland and France. And Switzerland. Switzerland? Yeah. Wow, that'll be cool. Actually. Oh. It should be pretty crazy. Do all the chocolate. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah, I don't know. It's not October, but it snow. does it snow in Switzerland? I don't know. I, I, think I don't know when it snows though. I've only seen photos. It's just always, <laughs> it's always snowing, right? So I uh, answered on the postcard, is it always snowing in Switzerland? <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, which, all this talk of chocolate and things brings us on to food. All this week, we are sponsored by Little Flame Hot Sauces. And this is Louisiana Soul. We're gonna have a little taste test let's of this. Give it a Let, let's give this a go, right? Um, there are... Rory's really bad oh, with spice. Strips. Oh, I suck for spice. Suck for spice. Rory's scared of black pepper. Scared of black pepper, apparently. I am. A jalapeno is classed as spicy. Uh, if you like spice, a jalapeno is spicy. Like, they can be. They can be, right. can't handle jalapeno. There we go, that's for you. Thank you. <laughs> You're next. <laughs> no, that's what we're saying. I don't like spice. <laughs> this is mild, though. Yeah. I we have that. Up. Right. We Cheers. all ready? So, Louisiana Soul. Right. It is delicious, that one. That's mm. a breakfast, mm. breakfast sauce. Oh, I have Yeah. 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 Breakfast sauce. Pesto eggs with this. Pesto eggs with that. There we are. We'll have that every as well. day. We'll have that every yeah. day. 
Little Flames out Solstice, one for one. When I buy Louisiana Soul, <laughs> I buy this Louisiana Soul. Okay, put, put there some you more. go. I have a little bit left. You got an advert as well. <laughs> Oh, you want some more? I had a little bit more? of flat bit. Brendan. On that note, I'm going to sign off here with Beach Riot. I'm going to see you uh, around and about, no doubt. And yeah. uh, nice. we'll catch you on the flip side. Thank Beach you. Beach Riot, out now. What was the name again? Tell, Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. There we go. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Well, welcome back to Food Night UK in 2003. I'm here. With the man I call the boss, James Monteith and Kate Fright, Edward Rachel. Yeah. The boss, hey. isn't that Bruce Springsteen? I mean, you can't, you can't. You're, well, you're the tech metal one. The tech metal Bruce Springsteen. The tech metal Bruce Springsteen. Why not? We just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, guys? I'm very well. How are you? Yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah, it's fabulous. A couple of weeks of festivals, feet aren't hitting the ground at all. So um, yeah, I was just saying, it was fabulous to see you this week um, at 2000 Trees and last week at Tech Fest. Yeah, yeah. Lively crowd today. You got a little pit going on there. That was that was great. Yeah. Saying so it was it was quite um, well, quite a bit more reserved at Tech Fest than I thought it would be. No, but I mean it's Tech Fest. Everyone yes. there's like their guitar nerds. They want to watch. <laughs> yeah, they want to watch your fingers and what you're doing. And it's just like stop looking at my fingers. Get in the pit. Well, you started the pit <laughs> at yeah, Tech exactly, Fest. Yeah, yeah. If you didn't see it online, James actually started his own circle pit, which is the first time I've ever seen that. Never seen that done before. Well, you know, Not by a guitarist, anyway. Sometimes you need to show people how it's done. Absolutely. And I've been absolutely. in a few pits myself over the years. I, I can imagine, I can imagine. <laughs> so, Rachel, um, what people might not know about you is you're a tattoo artist. Yeah. Yes, uh, I've checked out your work on, online on Instagram and stuff. Uh, do you want to shout out your shop, by the way? Um, I work in two shops, so if you want to find me, it's Bellatrix Tattoo. Awesome. So, yeah, I might be getting in touch because I've got some ideas. I've got some idea for a cat, a devil cat, but anyway. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, vocally, vocally, um, you're a very fierce vocal. Um, so fierce, in fact, that you shared a track with Trevor from uh, Black Dahlia Murder and matched him. I thought on that track, sonically speaking, I mean, that must have been quite an honor to do that track. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, um, I mean, it, it was one of my favorite vocalists, so when he accepted to do it, it was already uh, amazing. Incredible. And I think it was fitting super well yes, together. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, sadly, so. departed in case you... Yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I, I thought that was lovely because I'm a long-standing fan of that band. Like I said, so I thought that was fantastic. It was really good. And the rest of the album is slamming metal from start to finish, isn't it? Because a lot of people might know you from your other job. Mm. It's in a small band called Tesseract. Yeah. Just a little one. I've seen some symbols have been popping up on the internet. Oh, are we, yes. are, we, are we to talk about this or is it just yeah, shrouded in mystery? We can talk about it. Yeah, so is this uh, album on its way? Well, I mean, uh, I guess I can't say specifically. Yeah. But um, the fact that uh, if you actually click through to some of like the pre-save links, it gives a date. Oh, that, that, that's enough of that gives it away. There might be something coming. <laughs> fair play, fair play. Good, because I've, uh, I've worn out my copy of Sonder, so brilliant. I mean, that's five years ago, it's old. Yes, yes. And for a progressive album, short. Yes. Because it, it clocks in about 40 minutes, doesn't it? Yeah, we got much criticism from the prog. Elite really? The short oh, is that against the rules? You're not allowed to do short records. Yeah, yeah you got to do really long records. <laughs> well, so, but you know what? Like, I'm not. I'm saying anything. But we have listened. You have listened. Oh, that. <laughs> right, right, right. So back to cage fight. Um, there was a bit of wittering backstage at um, Tech Festers. Um, has that bass player like been on an exercise regime or changed his <laughs> hair or something? No, every, nobody wanted to ask. They were like, oh, you work with James George, you ask him. So yes, you, you had a different bass player, didn't you? Well, I think you got a slight scoop by asking that question. <laughs> um, yeah, but basically, uh, uh, Will was playing bass um, and Will was, uh, well, I'd probably have to do gigs. He's been our standing guitarist. Right. Like he did Bloodstock last year. So sure. Like, a few other like summer festivals when I was away doing Tesseract, and um, and uh, well, basically uh, we, we parted ways with John, our, our previous bassist, and he was the obvious choice. Well, he knows it. Knows it all. He knows all the songs. We don't have to do any work. 
Brilliant. Which is always my favorite. Yeah. Uh, like. He played like someone who knew the songs. Because yeah. that's why everyone was like, are you sure it's not still Zed? Because that was the confusing part was because he was so good. It was like he played with you for years. Mm. Yeah. So everyone thought, oh, the, the bassist must change his hair or something. <laughs> like, <you know? laughs> yeah. yeah, no, he's, um, I mean, he's amazing. He sort of stepped in. He's already coming up with loads of sort of ideas for like, you know, bass parts, tone. Like his enthusiasm is second to none, and it was just like it makes perfect sense. And it works really well. Awesome. He's so, a lovely, lovely man, which also yeah, helps. That came across in spades. Actually, I had a little chat with him. Yeah. So, does that mean there's a second Cage Fight album on its way? Yes. In the mix. We have a bunch of ideas on the go at the moment. We basically want to try and get something written by the end of the year. Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, well, I mean, if, if you haven't heard it yet, and you really should, there's no good reason for it. If you like, great proper stomping slam metal is that a right term slam metal metal for slam dancing too um yeah it's fantastic it's the sort of music that i have been missing a lot yeah because i'm a big old fan of uh, like biohazard and that kind of thing but specific period of biohazard like urban discipline area that sort of thing so it, it really scratches an itch there for me definitely yeah i think in terms of like the sort of like, like, sort of like a thrash riffing hardcore crossover as well yeah. that's it like this was an itch i had as well i think it's like the rise of brutality album by hate breed oh yeah you know like early terror yeah like it's just that sort of just it must be stupidly fun to play it is stupidly fun to play and like, we have the best time like, awesome i love it well we can't say fair on that but what we have to say is we're food and arty. Mm. We're contractually obliged to do some food stuff. Yeah. So all these interviews, I am sponsored by Little Flame Hot Sauces. They've been kind enough to give me their entire range to check out. So this is the one that's left that we haven't tried yet. It's called Glasgow Kiss. And this is a Scotch bonnet and cayenne. So it's going to be like fairly brutal. But Scotch bonnet's kind of a medium, me. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, well. Just being extreme. Yeah. We've got a four. Four out of five on that. Or if you want to go a bit lower than that, we've got a three out of five, which is a mango and Scotch bonnet. That's a very fruity number. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty like up into hot sauces. So yeah, Jem's need the strongest. Well, the, uh, these are the strongest ones. Jeepers Reapers, which I've been a bit scared to try out on anyone after the events of last week. That's a six out of six. These are only meant to go up to five. So, there's that uh, one. What, what are the chilies in that one? It's Reapers. Oh, well, the Reapers. But that's 50% Reaper. It's like 50% Reaper. I don't know what Reaper is. Carolina Reaper, it's the hottest chili. Okay. Um, I mean, or there's the Belfast Banshee, which is a 20% Reaper and very tasty with it. Let's do that one. That one, okay. Are you, are you joining in or? I'm going to tell you, if when, every time I have hot sauce, I yeah. have one reaction. My song is, is falling here and I'm like a dog for Oh, uh, I don't want to minutes. disable you then. So I don't think I should right. do it. But you said that you loved hot sauces the other day. Maybe you should try one it of the light. It has to be. You do one of the mild ones. Oh, the ridiculous. mild ones aren't even that mild, to be honest. It's going to so, be ridiculous. There we go. Choose your weapon. Right, yeah. And you think think, I'm a fan of hot sauces, but I really like a nice flavour, which is why yeah. this one appeals well, to me. Well, I think this one will appeal how, to you. How much I put on? Oh, well, that's quite a lot, I guess. Uh, yeah, and you it's seem to have a little passenger on board there. Yeah, what's that? I think that's a bit of straw. <laughs> yeah, a bit of straw, there you go. Right. That's, quite a, that's quite a fair amount of hot that, sauce. That's a good wag. Um, now, I enjoyed this one, Ooh. but Ooh. it's Ooh. a creeper. It's not just a creeper, no, there's a first smack, and he goes down, and he goes, and it goes Ooh. 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 Smell spicy. Straight Ooh. back up again. Oh my God, that's delicious. The Belfast Banshee. Oh, so much flavor. Oh, it's fresh, it's like fruity, and it's yeah. like, oh my god, I love that. Wow, there you go then, Little Flame Hot Sauces. I told you I'd get you good reviews, we've got you great reviews. Yes, that's my perfect kind of hot sauce. I love the fire. Can I, I love... smell it? Yeah. Yeah, but but, be good on eggs. The, 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 yeah, it would be lovely oh, on yeah. eggs. Good on eggs. Yeah, definitely. Well, there you go, Little Flame Hot Sauces. We've got another fan. So uh, this will all be going out, and uh, you owe me a pint. Oh, not a pint, I don't drink. Anyway, so. <coughs> With all that, are you much of a cook when you're at, when you're at home? Are you? I'm a real fan of eating. Fan of eating. I'm a bit of a shit cook. Bit of a shit cook. Do you cook? Yeah. 
Yeah, you can cook. Yeah, I only cook. Like I never eat anything <laughs> ready. Just yeah. with, why we're friends. <laughs> yeah, oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does that come from your heritage? Like, is it cooking a big thing for you? Maybe I think yeah, south yeah. of France and yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, absolutely. Yeah. French, yeah. French chefs are known as the best in the world, aren't they? So. <laughs> French, French say they're best at everything. They have the best wine, the best food, the best cheese. They just think they're the best. Well, a lot of the time they're right. <laughs> <laughs> right. On that note before we start a war of the English Channel. Um, only remains for me to say thank you so much for being back on the show. No pizza this time, unfortunately. In case you didn't see uh, James's returning guest, one of our first returning guests. Oh, I've been yeah, very you, privileged. You and Conjurer. Right, um, thank you very, so much. And who are you going to be watching out for this weekend? Who, who are you looking forward to, anyone? Um, we want Svalbard in a bit. Oh, or Skin Dread, yeah, definitely want to see Skin Dread. And Black Sabbath as well. Black Sabbath, of course. Yes, I can't miss that one either. So, uh, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. And uh, I'll see you later on. As well. Oh, that sauce is hot as fuck. Nice though, isn't it? It's really nice. And if you like what you see there, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz, leave a comment helps us keep doing what we do and bring it to you. Hey, hey, one, two. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to Food Night UK. I'm here with yeah. this band that blew me away supporting Kick Peachy this <laughs> year. Snakes are in the house. How are we doing? How are we doing? Uh, we doing I've George? got to, first of all, give big thanks to you for my waking up in the morning song, Work. Every time I can't be bothered. Stick that one on. That's a lot of the pe that's a lot of people's alarm clocks actually work. Yeah. We get told that a lot. Yeah, so, yeah. I can see why. Okay, if I'm ever thinking like, nah, nah, not today, like, boom. <laughs> Funny enough, it don't get many plays on Saturdays. Yeah, it's true that. True that. <laughs> so, um, what's your, the latest release we should be watching out for? Um, we've just released um, a double A side of Hang and Boys in Blue, and that's, yeah. those two tracks are like, yeah. Oh, Boys in Blue's a oh, one. Yeah, they yeah. are proper bouncers, aren't they? They're heavy, yeah. hard-hitting political bangers, and we love them. We love to play them live, don't we? It's like they're our very two fun. favourites. They're our favourites. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's so nice to release them both like, together, back to back, just get them out there. They're like, yeah, hard-hitting, poignant, and like, I think it's... Absolutely. Uh, yeah. exciting. Uh, I love your setup where, where you've got... Well, it's a bass, isn't it? Or is it a baritone guitar? It's bass, yeah, yeah. It's bass, it's, bass. it's all bass. It's all bass, baby. Bass. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like loads of effects and stuff like that. So it, it's, because um, I'm a breakbeat producer, right? Yeah, yeah. And so and a lot of my stuff's around bass lines and stuff. So I'm messing about with bass sounds yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah. So does a lot of that inspiration come from that sort of thing? Like, oh, definitely, yeah. A lot of like electronical like, influences. Yeah. Like, we love the Prodigy, um, massive influence for us. So yeah, just trying to like, yeah, find yeah, the... Like, it's probably something a bit different, like because I mean, yeah. like yeah. we used to, he used to play guitar, but we thought, nah, just keep it, keep it bass, keep it yeah. interesting. It's a bit different. You know? it makes you stand yeah, out as well, yeah, yeah. It? and I love that starkness of the because it just makes it so bouncy. Because you're just dancing the nitty gritty of the bass and the drums, just like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The drum, and, and obviously the drums, the drums are just spot on. You know, what I mean, like everything's bouncy. I'm like, just a glorified hype man. <laughs> and hype man you are, man. You, you, <laughs> seriously, I saw you guys at Brudenell and you destroyed it. And oh, I, I love that, that gig. That was yeah. my favourite gig. So that's well, awesome. yeah, because we had the boys in King Capici on and then I saw you guys. I was like, that's a marriage made in heaven for us. Start those two bands. Yes. Definitely. Oh, we love them boys so we much. We love them. Like, yeah, we go, we go back a few years. We like they, they put us on for our first gig. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we just, we love them to bits. Like we wouldn't. We probably wouldn't be here if it weren't for them. No, know. yeah, we've, we've literally just come from that set. That's why we're all a bit sweaty. We've yeah, just been yeah. In that pit. my vessel ripped. In that you were, you were, yeah, you were, you were crowd surfing. But yeah, those boys. So you guys like Hastings End? We're, we're down that way. We're, we're yeah, South yeah. Coast based. I mean, like we're more, I'd say near Brighton. Near Brighton, so. yeah. Oh yeah, um, love Brighton. But we, uh, what, a, what a town. Hastings is our second home. Awesome. Yeah, we're, ado we're adopted. Uh, adopted. Yeah, Hastings. Adopted. Well, yeah. fair play, fair play. I noticed you've got a really good fan base. Like looking around on your like your Facebook group page. The oh, the group. Shout out, Larry yeah. and Chanel. Shout out, Larry. Larry, love you. Love you. you. If you're not already joined, make sure you go and join the Belly Chorus, the Daily Memes. It's very, very funny. It is very Some good. of your fans must be on Photoshop like, oh, all God. the time. <laughs> he yeah, does one every day, doesn't he? He does one every day. Every day, yeah. 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 New, new 
like meme of like with our faces on. So if you're yeah. that, if you're that sort of content, then Benny Bull is for you. I did say to your PR, it's it's all right. I know what they look like because, <laughs> yeah. because I see your faces <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Daily photo of our faces. <laughs> right, we are food in arty, which means we have to get some food type stuff. Oh yeah. And this week, as I've said a few times, we are sponsored by Little Flame Hot Sauces. Big up your ourselves. Oh, right now, I've got some choices here. All right. Right uh, now, we can either go silly with Reaper sauce, or I've got a really nice fruity mango number. If you'd like to try a fruity mango number. No, nah, let's not. Uh, uh, no, let's go silly. Come let's on. Let's go silly. You want to go silly? Does anyone pick the fruity mango? We're going silly. Okay, Come on. right. Yeah, mango scotch bonnet, you want, is it? Yeah, that's mango and scotch bonnet. Mango's mad. Mango's mad. I bet that's nice, though. It's still a bit spicy. All right. Well, let's try it. Let's go We go up. We'll work our way down. Probably not. Is that a bad way to do it? It's a different way. <laughs> you, you, you start, mate, honestly. Okay. <laughs> right, now, with this, right, I'm not messing. I've just had this. Just a little schmear will do you. All right, okay, a little schmear. A little schmear. Oh, look, we've got, we got tortillas. All right, tortilla, okay. So, have, have a tortilla, and then you, you can be in charge <laughs> you of... You can dab me. You can be in charge of your own schmear. Have you got a drink there? You're, you're all right. He's, drinking. Sure, yeah. He's all right. He's all right. But I'll let you do your own. What's, what's a normal amount? I don't I'll know tell you what, I'll do mine. I'll show yeah, you what I'll do. Right, okay, and then we'll, uh, we'll do it together. Right. I want to. I want the same level. Just is that it? Oh my god! That's I was going to go way harder than that, so I'm glad you have showed you, me. Just a little. Have you ever tried a hot sauce called That's Regret? Right. Gonna, Which one? Regret. regret. Yes, little one. That's yeah. my favourite one. I put it in my noodles oh, all the you'll time. You'll be right. You'll be right. Yeah, you'll be right. Be right. Have I gone too hard? Yeah, that? That's all right. I mean, if you want, you can shake, shake a bit off. <laughs> nah, we'll go for it. We'll <laughs> We're in. Yeah. Oh, Lainey. Laino's oh, gone hard. Laino's, Laino's showing me up, for sure. <laughs> but Laino's already told me she's having a competition. So. Right, okay. I'm, I'm the best. Laino wants to be the have best. You, Laino, have you got a drink oh. nearby? Laino's yeah. going to cry. You have, right, that's all right. Oh, is it really bad? Oh my god, no. Ollie's gone oh. way, way hard. Oh, this has got out of control oh, now. Go, we're going crazy out oh, here, man. I've not got enough now. Go on, give me a bit more then. Oh, oh geez. Geez. Come on, look, look at these two. I can't. I can't. Look at this. Right, I don't want to hurt right. anyone. We are going to hurt, but. You know, we're here now, so. All right, well, goodness me. Right, I'll leave this up to be judgment. Just do a little bit you first. You hear from our lawyer. If you like it, carry on. I can't yeah. wait to cry. Right. We're all going all in right. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three. Now, it's tasty, but it does creep. No, it's hot. It it's creeps. It creeps. We're in already. It's nice, though. That. It's tasty, though, isn't it? Yeah. That's well nice. It's a tasty sauce. Right, so I've had like that liquid. This is I've had that liquid Belfast death Banshee. Before. I've had that liquid death before. Oh, yeah. And um, that stuff was nasty, yeah. I felt, personally. Yeah. But this is way nicer. Tasty. Really tasty. Not bad. Really nice. Not bad. Yeah? It's hot. It's that's, that's banging. So, snakes rating right out of 10. I'm going to go 10. I'm going to go 9. 9? Nine? That's 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 have you got anything hotter? Yeah, I'm going to hiccup. So I have that's that's tried time. it out yet. Mm. I'm a bit I'm going to give, I'm giving that a... This is a 50% Reaper sauce. It's delicious. But the spice is, is not 25? enough. Is that 25? Yeah. Yeah, 20%. That's 50% Reaper sauce. Yeah, that's like 50 percent reaper sauce yeah yeah, twenty percent. That's fifty percent. Like that's perfect. That's that's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I, I think I, I think I think we got it. I want to try this out first before I give it to anyone. Yeah, I thought we were going silly. I'm, I don't know about yeah. that. But there you go. No, I think that's that perfect, perfect spice. Nice. Like, perfect spice. Perfect. Perfect. We're loving really that. nice. So, Tasty. Lovely bit so of spice. Thanks for being on the show, guys. I'll catch Cheers, you George. next time you're in Leeds. If you fancy that's having George. a proper full meal job like Kid Capucci got, we are always open to that. Thank you very much. Love you. Thank you. Nice one. Cheers. Cheers. Food and arty. As in Illuminati, but with food. Oh. That's f***ing funny. I rate that. I rate that. <laughs> we are the food and arty. Right. Welcome to food and arty. <laughs> We're here with, as everything unfolds, authors of the amazing record Ultraviolet that came out this year. Marvellous record, guys. Thank you so much. Loving it so much. How, we did how's try. it been since it dropped? You good. Busy, it's been busy. Good. Always busy. Aren't we? Yes. We're always rocking constantly. We don't know what days off are. We don't know what days off no, are. No, no, if, we, if, we, if, we, if we've got days off, we're in the studio. We're writing. Yeah, yeah. For the next one. For the next oh, one. Always looking forward. It could be, it, it could be nothing. It could be everything. It could be everything. Everything yes. to play for. 
Yeah. Awesome. So you're playing later on tonight? Yeah, yeah. Seven. Seven? Yes. Six fifty. Oh. Seven. And don't you go a second over? No. Uh, <laughs> we won't be able to because we, we haven't got. We get told off. You get told off. Yeah. yeah. So I, I know about stage managers and their magic switches. Oh, yeah. Honestly, yeah. we're not the sort of band that's got enough money that we can just pay the fines of, of going over. You can't do a Lana Del Rey to say, oh, my hair's forever. In my hair's forever, it's going to be, you know. But then she didn't play over, so it's, you know. There you go. A woman of a word. Anyway, so, <laughs> what you got planned for the rest of the summer? More festivals or? A few more festivals. A We've got a couple of German festivals. We've got one in Taubertal, one in... Uh, Rock Circus in November. Uh, that's in November, mate. Oh, okay. We've got the Rock Circus in November and then... Like, I've got a headline Leeds. tour in September. Headline, headline tour in September. September. Yes, that's right. what we got. Yeah. No, it's coming through Leeds, actually, aren't you? Yeah. Well, that, that's no. our hometown. That's we're, where we're, from. we're coming to Manchester. Oh, you're in Manchester. Ah, you're thinking about Electric Cowboy in October. Electric Cowboy in October. There's only Portsmouth left. There's the only tickets you can get. We're playing in Leeds. There. That's, oh, when, yeah. there that's, that's when we. That's, that's when we're playing in Leeds. That's when we're coming through. That's when the Leeds crew can see you. Welcome uh, to Manchester. Or, or do both. Do both. Or do both. I would say do both. Right now. Bernie told me, well your PR told me, that you like your hot sauce. And you come to do. the right place. We've been known to do. Well, I've got three different hot sauces oh, yeah? here. Okay. With varying going up. What's the Scovilles on these bad boys? Right, now, at the top we've got the Bel Belfast Banshee, which is a Carolina Reaper. Oh yeah. It doesn't say how many Scovilles, but it's, it's I've had this. It's uh, reaper sauce, but it's a tasty reaper sauce. Oh, uh, taste is the most important thing with taste the hot sauce. Taste first, but always flavour first. Taste first, heat second. Then we've got the Glasgow Kiss in the mid range, oh, which nice. is a Scotch bonnet and cayenne. Mm. Nice. Quite tasty, that one. That's that sounds bit. delicious, actually. Now, if you want a fruity number, we've got Mango's Wild. Oh, Mango's not, bad. Are we not doing all of them? You can. Oh, I've, I've, I'm just in, I'm introing them like you. Oh, no, oh sorry, like you your band. <laughs> we don't get an intro. We don't get a. John Cross and Lee Keys, everybody! You should. You don't get that. I think we should. There's there's one song. Um, right, we'll go through them all. Yeah, go through all of them. Yeah, there's one song you were saying. I was going to say, there's one song we've got on the uh, on the album, All I've Ever Known. There's a little, um, after the chorus, there's a little guitar break before the solo. Right. And every time we play it, George always goes, basically, he's always like, Adam Carroll, Lee Guitar, everybody! And he's like, <laughs> We need to get Charlie to do that. We need to get Charlie to do that, because it'd be so funny. Yeah. Right. Ooh, this oh, this is God. the receptacle we're using. Oh, I love, tortilla oh I, love a, I love a little tortilla strip. <laughs> So we'll, we'll use one for each. Okay. So we'll, we'll start on this one. I'll let you source your own. Start on the Mango's Mad. So pass oh, it down. That's fantastic. Look at that package. Mango's Mad. Packaging. Now this one's a fruity oh, well. number. This has been very popular. Oh no. <laughs> They've all been very popular actually. So let's I'll see if we keep that Smells up. delicious. Oh. I'll tell you what. And uh, I'll have that. Oh, if there's any old excuse to have this again. I thought I'll harp at the loop. Yeah, give it a little check. Yeah. I'll come in. There's Mango's map. Nice one to start with. Mm. Mm. A little bit of heat there. Oh, yeah. mm. Very mild. Very yeah. mild. A little bit of heat. Lovely fruity sauce. That's been a hit with everyone, that one. Nice mango. Right. There's a tingle on the tongue. It's not like... It's not like... No. Okay, you've got chilli. It's a nice tingle. No, just a little lively, mm. fun tingle. Right, let's that, go for another. You know what? That on a bit of chicken would be amazing. I've got two. All right, I'll, I'll save one for afters. Yeah, you save one for the next one. I'll save one. Yeah, I've got I'll it really. Two as well, then. Oh, yeah. Mmm, right. that mango is really good. Tasty. Is that, is that home brew? Vibes. It's, it's a um, This is Little Flames Hot Sauces. Okay. Uh, these bad boys, they are based in Lincoln. Ooh, very nice. Lincoln. Very nice hot right. sauce. Did Lincoln. you get them from the chilli shop in Leeds? Chilli shop in Leeds. Frank, big up Frank. Um, he sponsors our uh, oh, nice supplies, but uh, these are, no, these are new. He, he, he's a, this is a brand new company who I like so much, I thought they could do with some rock stars oh, in our oh, wares. Nice. That's delicious. Yeah. That was lovely. And they were good enough to send me the whole lot, so this one's brand new. Brand new. Brand new. Sauce, sauce, sauce yourself, go on. So this is the Glasgow Kiss, which is an affectionate term for a headbutt. So <laughs> Uh, any other way. Here we go. Oh, I'm just seeing how much you're putting on. I'm, I'm doing that, that side. I, re yeah. I really doubt that. That's a recommended, recommended measure. Ooh. All right. It smells kind of like vinegary. Well, yeah. It reminds me of like a, um, what is it? Is it French red hot sauce? That kind of, yeah. that kind of esque. Right. Gin gin. Oh, mm. that's a, that's a mm. weird flavour, isn't it? That's less hot than the other one. It's less, less hot, hot, but it's more tasty. That is very interesting. It's got more tang to it, I would say. I would say that's the cayenne mm. in it. That is oh, the cayenne. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. So, 
Right, that's so we're, we're warmed up here. Mm. Grand finale. Oh no, oh, that's, that's delicious. That's lovely. Right, my, my one went on the floor. Oh, right, here we go. We I need little. a fresh. Ow. I need a fresh one of them. Yeah, my fresh one, one. On the floor. Right. Come on, John. We got we got a shield to play, mate. Thanks, pal. Can't be dropping the ball already. No, no. Right now. Are we are you singing later on? No. no. Good. <laughs> right. Mm. Is this gonna hurt our no. no. No, no, not really. It's gonna hurt our bums. No. I've had this four not. times now and I have needed to try it once. Oh, so. it's thick as brick. Right, this is mm. the uh this That's is not so garlicky. Cool it, smells, it smells really garlicky. Belfast Banshee. Mm. Lovely. Uh, immediately tasty, mm. but it's a creeper. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's not headbanger gear, but it's just on the Ooh. top end. Mm. Just on the top end. Well, those were all delicious. Oh yeah, right at the end. Yeah, right at the that's end. A, I like that one. That was really that's nice. So there's a Belfast mm. bench here. We're liking that one too. So that's lovely. So that's an all round. Well, crazy. Is it like? Although it's sauce. okay. I mean, we like hot sauce, but like. It's not like, oh my god, this is now unenjoyable. No, it's tasty. That's the problem. Oh, I hate that. You know when you get hot sauce, it's, yeah. it's just all heat. Yeah. And you can't even enjoy it. That is delicious. Well, I would say anyone can make stuff that's hot. It takes skills to make it hot and tasty. It really does. It I really does. Agree. Oh, that's delicious. That is good. So there you go. We've done the gamut. Mm. Little Flame Hot Sauces, she's had more than enough promotion this weekend. And uh, you'd like to send us some. So if you want to send us some, we'll eat it and we'll post it everywhere. Because that's that that is good. I like that one. That's <laughs> there, real nice. There we have it. Right, well, thank you boys for being on the show. Absolute thank pleasure. Thank, thank you very much. much. Thank it's you for rocking with us. Absolutely, I'll be rocking with you later. Oh, Hell yes. yeah. See you later. Guys. Next week on Food and Arts UK, we'll be bringing you more from here at 2000 Trees Festival 2023. Don't want to miss it. <laughs>